Gentlemen, thanks so much for doing this interview. The last time we talked, uh, Cavendish was just sort of like starting up, you know, the filming and everything like that. And now the series is finally going to premiere. How does it feel having this going? We are husks of our formal s former selves. I fucked it up. I fucked it up already. We're terrible. Indeed. I know. I screwed it all up. No, Why? you're not. I had a great one. Go for it. I'm going to do, I'm going to say three, two, one. I'm going to let you go with it. We're still going to keep the camera husks rolling. Our, husks of our former selves in three. Two, I don't want to have one. to say it. All right. Andy? We are husks of our former selves. There you there go. There we go. That's not that. The, the corn we once contained has been uh, barbecued and consumed. <laughs> we are husks. We're husks. husks. It, was a, it, was a, it was a grueling process, but we're uh, almost finished, and we're excited to, for the world to see it. This is crazy because, like I said, when I, I remember when we talked, and I said Cavendish. When I think of that, I think of the music festival. This has nothing to do with the music festival. Dude, you shocked me then, and you're shocking me now. I didn't even know Cavendish had a dang music festival. Oh, yeah. Have I learned about this countless times and forgotten it each time? Yes, I think so. Cavendish is a huge country music festival. You know, if there's a season two, maybe we'll explore that. It would be interesting, but you used the word explore. That's really what kind of basis of the show is. You guys are exploring all the strange things that life can bring together. Talk, that look says it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm listening. I'm like, yeah, is that what this show does? Maybe, yeah. I mean, there's. it's definitely a strange show. There's a lot of, sorry, sorry. It's definitely a strange show. Uh, I got shushed by, okay. I got shushed again. I don't know what this. Oh, who's that? This who's is a on burgeoning war that, with little dog? Little dog. Little dog's telling us to be quiet. It's okay. You guys can speak in your normal voices. No. Okay. Yeah. No, no. This is us now. Yeah. This is how we're gonna speak. It's a very important show. <laughs> this is how we deal with uh, legitimate, justified criticism. We internalize it. We overcompensate, mm -hmm. and then we do that for the rest of our lives with a sort of passive-aggressive glow to us. <laughs> We know we're exacting our revenge, even though they have long forgotten. Honestly, I'm not going to live, I'm not going to stop thinking about that moment for a long time. Yeah. Honestly, probably about a month, I'm going to be like, did I ruin their moment? Yeah, I Andy's feel gonna terrible. Add, Andy's going to add Little Dog to his list that he keeps next to his bedside mirror. He's gonna, you know, when he crosses that out, you'll know something bad happened. But we've got to keep our moments going because it is about you guys. It is about your show. And you have to explain what the show is about so people really get connected with this. No, we don't really. <laughs> we don't have to explain anything. We should explain what the show is about. It's just it's about two brothers mm -hmm. coming back to their hometown, uh, finding out that the town is actually a lot stranger than they remember. They grew they grew up there. Um, well, they were there until they were about eight. Mm -hmm. uh, I was eight, and Mark was four in the show. This is this is what's going to sell the show. This Look, nitty gritty detail. I'm just trying to explain the what the show to detail is. Detail that Canada needs. Canada wants and Canada needs. And there's some spooky how stuff old, in there. Canada, can't stop but wonder, how old was Murdoch when he started solving mysteries? <laughs> uh, how, and how did these four anchors meet before they started turning an hour into 22 minutes? These are the questions that we like to, to answer for well, the Canadian public. Guys, how did you come up with such a wild idea? Oh, well, I mean, it started with my vacations uh, in Cavendish when I was a child, and then Mark added some spooky stuff. <laughs> That's <laughs> honestly completely fair. Yeah. That's a fair breakdown of how it happened. So what can we expect uh, in the new series? Like, what are some of the elements? What are we going to see with this? Like, what's going to happen? Like, I, 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 the way I described it before was it's almost like a, a new version of Scooby-Doo or something like that. That's right, Rudy. I think you gave us the tagline, and it stuck. <laughs> Scoop. <gasps> Oh, God. We're oh, getting no. a little dogged. He told us to, Oh, my God. We're, we are... I mean, this, that show is about a boxer. We're going to get beaten up. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to get pulped. Um, we... Uh, what the hell? What was the... Oh, yeah. You gave us the tagline. Um, is it Scooby... Twin, Twin Peaks Twin meets Scooby-Doo? Yeah. Is that, that you, you ready? That was me. Yeah. That's so. terrific. We're peddling that all over. And we're not crediting you. Never. We never credit. That's okay. Little dog will take care of it. I'll get my credit back. <laughs> Damn it! It's gonna Rudy? be it's gonna be in the trades. Rudy, I'm telling you. Rudy exacts his price with blood. That's the price you pay when you deal with Rudy Blair. Well, look, I gotta say, guys, thank you so much for doing this interview. I'm I'm so happy that you guys got the series going. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be bizarre. It's gonna be great. I'm looking for season two. It's gonna be probably fantastic also because it's gonna happen. And no matter what happens, 
I'll protect you guys from Little Dog. I'll be there for you. <laughs> Can I just say, you were you were the one who got us excited about the show. We weren't sure about it during the upfronts, and you you really got us going. Oh, I was true. I was excited. You're... And can I just say, no season two. We're doing season one, and then annual Christmas specials until we're dead and in the grave. Oh, I love that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Guys, 40 Christmas specials. 40 Christmas specials, Rudy Blair. Guys, congratulations. Thanks so much. Thank you.